So one of the big things about BYU is dating. Dating is very prevalent. It's um, you're expected to date. You're expected to be in a serious relationship. You're expected um, to pretty much uh, get married very quickly when you're there. Um, so that was one thing I was, I don't know, I was kind of looking forward to, but also not looking forward to because I've never, I didn't really date growing up at all. Uh, and that's something I'll probably talk about in a future video, my anxiety and like dating. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to tell you probably the biggest lie I ever told someone while like dating them or like starting to date them. And like, it's funny now, but it, I shouldn't have done it. But yeah, I hope you like. I hope you like the video or like the story. So when I started at BYU, um, I uh, I really I don't know. I had this weird uh, philosophy that I started off with because I saw like so many people like right off their mission and like them going to BYU like getting engaged in like weeks if not months like like it's crazy like insane insanity and I didn't want to like be one of those people so I told myself that I wouldn't date anyone seriously for the first six months like um, like after my mission so yeah I made that kind of rule that I would go on dates I was fine first dates or whatever but I wouldn't try to do anything serious so yeah, like one time, uh, one day I, I'm at church and there's like these group of girls that I don't really know very well, but they come to me and they start asking me questions about me and like, and like, I don't know, like things I like and they're just very giggly, very, I don't know, it's like really weird. And then, then there was this one girl there, we'll call her, we'll call her Anna because it's a very generic name. And yeah, Anna, I don't know, she like was there trying to talk to me and they're like, what do you think about Anna? And I was like, I don't, I don't know her. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I don't really know her. Um, I don't really have an opinion of her. So I just kind of walk away. A couple of days later, if not a week or so later, I get a call from a random, from, from one of the girls in that group. Um, and she's like, hey. If Anna asked you out, would you go on a date with her? And I was like, sh I was like, sure, why not? Like, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know the girl. I didn't have no real interest in her at all. So yeah, so I decided to say yes to the date. It was actually a group date with like her apartment of girls and like another apartment, random guys in the ward. I don't know, very provo, very, very provo. So I get there, and I don't know, I'm very hesitant because I don't know, like, I don't know, it, I, I find it strange, like, I find it very strange at the time, like, this girl, like, I don't know, I guess that was her way of trying to get to know me, like, having her group of friends ambush me at church, and then, like, call me, and then, like, at ask me out on the phone for her I don't know I just thought like the whole thing was weird so like when I saw her I was like hey you know just kind of awkwardly and she was like oh hey and she was very awkward also so I don't know I it was off to a bad start I didn't really I don't know I didn't know what to expect or what to not expect um, but yeah the date was that they were gonna go to the BYU library pick out children's books and uh, we're gonna go back and read them to each other while eating cookies so very provo date the whole time uh, so we went to on campus we went to the BYU library and um, the whole time she was just not talking to me kind of I don't know like being really silent and at that point, I didn't, I was like, I don't really care, so I just kind of left to hang out with the other groups, like the other pairs of couples, and kind of left her. I felt kind of bad about that, but I, she wasn't being talkative, so I didn't, I didn't feel that bad, I guess. But yeah, we get back to the girl's apartment, we start reading the books, I don't know, I'm not even talking to her at this point, and um, I don't know. We eat cookies, we read the books, 
and everyone, you know, they hug. Everyone, the date's basically over. The group date's over. Everyone's hugging. Oh, I had such a great time. You know, it was like four other couples there. And then, like, it was like my turn to say bye. So I just kind of high five her and be like, all right, good night. And I just left. Um, so yeah. And I was like, and everyone asked me, oh, how was the date? You know, this girl asking me out. I was like, I, I don't know, dude. Like, she didn't want to talk to me. So, whatever. So, um, I find out, actually, she was in one of my classes. She's like in my, like, social media class. I don't know. I just, I, find, I don't know how I found out, but she happened to be there. So... Uh, the next time I saw her, I sat next to her and I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? Because I felt kind of bad. I don't know. Maybe, I I don't know. I felt like I tried, but I don't know. I guess I sh could have been more empathetic. Being like, you know, oh, maybe she's nervous. But nah, I really took it more like, oh, she doesn't want to talk to me. Whatever. I'm not going to try that hard. So, uh, but yeah, I just took the time to try to get to know her a little bit better. And it turns out she was super nice, super cool. Like she was learning Spanish, and her Spanish was, you know, developing. And I don't know, just super nice, super cool. So I decided to, you know, kind of hang her, hang out with her, ask her out a few times, and I don't know. I started realizing that, like, I, I kind of like, I don't know. I liked her. I genuinely like liked her. It was really strange. Like I didn't. I didn't really think that was gonna happen. But, if you remember from the beginning of the video, I told myself I wasn't gonna get in anything serious for the first six months uh, returning from my mission. So, it, it by this time it was like month four or something. So I still like had two more months before I can commit to anything by my arbitrary rules. I realized, like she, I could tell she was really into me. Uh, like really, really, really into me. Um, and I realized I was starting to like her quite a bit and I didn't know what to do now because I was gonna be like oh man like I have to stop this <laughs> I, I, I can't break my arbitrary rule so I started thinking of ways to sabotage what was going on what was happening was leaning towards you know like being boyfriend girlfriend and I was like I need to sabotage this <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, she was actually I knew she was going on she was kind of going on dates with this other guy and I was like oh that's great I just need her to not like me anymore and then she'll start liking the other guy the foolproof plan like there's no holes no holes in this plan so I think it, it was the end of the semester almost it was the end of the semester and I thought you know what, the perfect, like, lie I can tell her, and then, she, like, no one, no one's feelings will get hurt. I will tell her that I'm transferring out of BYU. Because I would always tell her how I didn't enjoy being there, that I had a hard time there, and uh, I don't know, it was something really I was thinking about, if you watched my last video. So I told her that, um, you know, I was going home for the semester, but then I was gonna text her, like, around Christmas time and tell her that I was transferring out and not coming back next semester. That was the plan. So, and not only did I was what not only was I going to tell her, but I was actually going to tell all my roommates because I felt like if I didn't tell if I if I was going to lie to her, I might as well lie to everyone. Make everyone think I wasn't coming back. I don't know. I was bored at the time. It, Christmas time comes up, and I, te I text her, and I'm like, Hey, like, hey, Anna, like, I have some news, some sad news. I'm actually transferring out. I'm going to Florida State University instead. Um, it was great to know you. I hope you have a great life. Blah, 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 blah. She messages me back. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm so sad. Oh, like, I really hope you have a good time there. You know, blah, 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 blah. I was, I was home free. I was free. And yeah, what was really good about the plan was that I actually had a plane ticket that was, I was coming home back to um, BYU, back to Provo. 
like a couple of days into the semester. So it already kind of seemed like I wasn't coming back because I wasn't going to be there for the first couple of days of the semester. So um, I came back finally. And, you know, I, I, like I said, I told all my friends, also my roommates, everything, that I wasn't going back. I was transferring out. And they're like all super sad. Everyone was super sad. So everyone was super sad. Um, you know, wish me good luck and stuff. I show up, you know, like four days into the semester, into my apartment. And everyone's like, I was like, what are you doing here? I thought you were gone. And I was like, oh, it was a prank. It was a lie. You know? It was super funny because I walk into my room, I was sharing a room with, you know, a, a roommate, and all my stuff is like in a corner, like he moved already all my stuff, and he just like was taking up the whole room, and I was like, why'd you move all my stuff? He's like, well, like I thought you didn't, I, I, th I didn't think you were coming back, and I was like, well, that's true, that was my fault, that, I can't, I can't get mad at the guy, that's true. So. And then it was super funny because then they were telling me that they actually released me from my calling because they told the bishop that Sunday that I wasn't coming back. So they released me from my calling. So I even fooled the bishop. So yeah, so I knew I need to lay low for at least another week or two so the girl wouldn't know that I was back in town because I lied to her. So yeah, so I'm like I like I'm going to another ward on Sundays. I'm like like uh, hiding in the bushes when I'm leaving my apartment just so nobody knows that I'm there. I just I didn't I didn't want her to know that I was there for a few weeks so she could be like start dating the other guy and forget about me. And like for sure like forget about me. So um uh, so yeah that happens. Uh, that happens, I, I just like, I'm sneaking around my apartment and, the, you know, just my complex area so I don't run into anyone. Eventually a few weeks pass and I don't know, I don't know what happened, but I decided, I was like, I'm just gonna tell her that I'm here. Time has passed enough that I'm sure she's forgotten about me and that, um, she, she'll be cool with me popping up again and just saying hi to her so I went to her job she worked at like I don't know it was like a restaurant at on campus and I show up to her job and I'm like hey Anna how you doing and she's like what well, she was very confused she was like like what are you doing here and she I thought you were transferring and I was like, oh, that was a prank. I told everyone that I wasn't going to come back, but I was. And now I'm here. She wasn't amused. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I, was, I guess in a perfect world, I was expecting her to kind of laugh and be like, hi, you're so silly. You're so funny. She, she didn't think I was silly or funny. She thought, I think she thought I was kind of a jerk. So yeah, so I kind of walk out and I feel a little like weird about it, awkward. I'm like, oh man, maybe this whole plan wasn't a good idea. Maybe I should have just been honest to her and told her that I wasn't feeling ready to, you know, move forward and just in dating due to mostly like personal things in my life. Uh, personal, just, I don't know, just not feeling ready to. That, that would have been the mature route but I was 21, 22. I wasn't doing the mature road at that time, or things at that time. So yeah, uh, it's super funny because like, her and this guy, they start dating. And they're, uh, so I start going to my ward again, and I tell my bishop, hey, I'm here. And, you know, he, he gives me another calling. And, uh, and um, yeah, they start dating like serious, like seriously dating. And like literally, like it's not that long. It was like a couple more weeks from then on. Like they got engaged, and I heard about them getting engaged, and I didn't. I was like, I was like super happy for them, but I was also like, I felt super bad too. Like I was surprisingly like, oh man, she got like I want her to get over me, but I didn't want her to get over me that fast. <laughs> 
yeah, so, so that, I remember that day, funny how, like, she was, like, engaged, and I was, like, I felt bad for myself, I was pitying myself again, I was, and, um, I went out and got some ice cream and just wallowed, I was, like, oh, man, like, can't believe she did this to me, I did, I mean, I did this to myself, but she, uh, you know, she got, how'd she get engaged so fast? I mean, it's Provo, so it's BYU, so I shouldn't have been surprised. Um, but yeah, I don't know. They moved. They moved, you know, they got married. She graduated. They moved. I don't know. I didn't really stay in contact, obviously. Um, uh, but I don't know. It's one of those, uh, dang stories that now looking back, like, yeah, it's kind of funny. But also, like, I don't know. It's crazy, like, to see where you are now in life and how like for me like that's def that like it's funny but it, it definitely was very immature and like a very jerk thing to do you know like i've i be i've and i i can tell like it was definitely something i did to kind of like protect myself you know i was thinking about myself the whole time if you didn't notice already um but yeah so yeah that's that's the biggest lie i've ever told someone in dating um and yeah i learned my lesson i'm i'm very honest with people now uh, like sometimes I, maybe i'm too honest but but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you like the story if you, you know you're welcome to like the video and subscribe to keep watching more videos um all right thank you have a good night